The A-10 is capable of operating from much shorter runways than conventional fighter attack aircraft. Major Thorpe demonstrated that capability today when he lifted off in only 1,500 feet. In fact, even with a 16,000 pound bomb load, A-10s can still take off in less than 4,000 feet. Because of its toughness, tenacity, and devastating good looks, the people who know it best, the pilots who fly it, and mechanics who maintain it have unofficially dubbed it the Warthog. Over the past three decades, the Warthog and its support crews have accomplished missions with precision and expertise in multiple conflicts and are currently partnering with joint forces to win today's fight. Air Combat Command, the Air National Guard, and Air Force Reserves all fly the A-10. Ladies and gentlemen, from behind and to your right, Major Thorpe and the A-10, Thunderbolt 2. Watch now as Major Thorpe pulls the aircraft straight into the vertical, demonstrating the Warthog's power and maneuverability in all attitudes of flight. Major Thorpe is now positioning the A-10 for a pass down the show line where he will perform a double aileron roll at show center. During this maneuver, he will demonstrate the A-10's rapid roll capability by rolling the 35,000 pound aircraft at almost 200 degrees per second. And now, from your left, Major Thorpe displaying the A-10's rolling maneuverability. Major Thorpe is repositioning the A-10 for a slow roll along the show line to demonstrate the Warthog's precise handling characteristics. As Major Thorpe rolls the A-10, you will notice a fake canopy painted on the belly of the aircraft directly underneath the cockpit. This false canopy is designed to deceive enemy ground troops as to the A-10's direction of turn, while concealing a titanium armor barrier that protects the pilot and cockpit from enemy ground Major Thorpe is now performing a classic aerobatic maneuver, the Cuban 8. It's the A-10's remarkable maneuverability that enables it to perform its close air support mission. Twisting and turning low over the battlefield, the Warthog can deliver devastating firepower, destroying targets in close proximity to friendly ground forces. In its arsenal are a wide variety of modern weapons, including JDAMs, Maverick missiles, unguided and laser-guided bombs, cluster bombs, rockets, 30mm bullets, and 8-9 air-to-air missiles. All of these weapons have been used to attack enemy forces in Iraq, Bosnia, Kosovo, and Afghanistan. The A-10's two TF-34 turbofan engines add more than just power to its performance. They're also smokeless and much quieter than comparable engines. This makes the airplane much harder to hear and aids immensely in achieving tactical surprise when attacking from all altitudes. The A-10's engines are also extremely fuel efficient, enabling it to fly more than 2,000 miles without refueling. Add in-flight refueling and the Warthog can fly non-stop to Europe and the Middle East. Major Thorpe is now repositioning his aircraft to perform a level 360 degree high G turn. That's the A-10's quick turn rate and small turn radius, which enables it to work effectively over the battlefield, even under marginal weather conditions. Major Thorpe just completed that turn at only 1,400 feet. This is less than the size of an average NASCAR racetrack and well over twice the speed of your favorite driver. On the battlefield, this capability enables the Warthog to turn quickly and evade enemy air defenses. Major Thorpe is now configuring his aircraft to demonstrate the A-10's slow speed controllability at its final approach airspeed of 140 miles per hour. 
This slow speed pass will give you a good chance to see the A10's high bypass engines and unique tail design. These distinct features help mask the heat signature, which helps the pilot to defeat infrared missiles. And now, from your right, Major Thorpe and the slow speed pass. Let's go to the cockpit of the aircraft and see if Major Thorpe has any words for us today. During World War II, the original Flying Tigers, led by General Claire Chenault, painted teeth on the noses of their P-40 Warhawks to strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. Today, the Flying Tigers of the 23rd Wing, comprised of three A-10 squadrons, keep this proud tradition alive. The A-10 is the premier close air support aircraft supporting our ground forces engaged with the enemy. Major Thorpe is now positioning the aircraft for a simulated strafe pass firing bullets the size of Coke bottles at almost 70 rounds per second. The Hogs 30 millimeter rounds deliver seven times the destructive energy of the more conventional 20 millimeter round. Major Thorpe less than 30 seconds to get back into firing position for a second strafe attack. With two hog pilots working together, enemy forces can expect to be under A-10 fire once every 10 to 15 seconds. for his final attack, where he will simulate dropping 500-pound Mark 82 general purpose bombs. These general purpose bombs are useful for cratering airfields or destroying buildings, adding versatility to the Hogs arsenal of weapons. maneuver. This continuously changing 3D maneuver makes life very difficult for enemy anti-aircraft gunners. The A-10 was built to withstand significant battle damage, having the capability to fly on a single engine and a total loss of hydraulic power. The War Dog has a well-earned reputation for strength and striking power, a reputation earned in Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq, where A-10s destroyed thousands of enemy armored vehicles, artillery sites, Scud missiles, and was credited with two air-to-air -air kills. Today, the upgraded A-10C, armed with state-of-the-art targeting pods, satellite communication, and data link, continues to set the standard for supporting Allied forces in today's fight. Now, Major Thorpe, and a four-point bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, Major Thorpe is now repositioning his A-10 behind and to your right to set up for the dedication pass. We would like to dedicate this pass to the men and women of the armed forces and their families who support them. We would also like to remember our wounded warriors and veterans in attendance and those who have given their lives defending our great nation. This will be your best opportunity to get a photo, so get your cameras ready to capture this salute. proudly presents the dedication pass. Once again, we salute all of our wounded veterans, those who have lost their lives and their families who have sacrificed so much.
United States Air Force's Air Combat Command provides essential combat air support capability for today's joint fight. During deployments including Desert Shield, Desert Storm, Allied Force, Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom, the A-10 has consistently demonstrated its ability to fly more than four sorties per day, a tribute to the skill and maintenance of our magnificent maintenance crew. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a hand to our outstanding maintainers and all those service members keeping our aircraft fit to fight. Major Corp will stop the aircraft today within 1,500 feet from touchdown using the A-10's very effective speed brakes. Because of its high-mounted engines and rugged landing gear, the A-10 can operate from unmaintained airfields not available to other fighter aircraft.